Good evening, everyone. Hope that you have all had a good weekend and a good start to your week. We are here on Monday, the 12th of December. Hard to believe that we're that far into it already, but I suppose time keeps flying by, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, if I've done the math correctly, this is episode number 94. I, it's going to be so cool to be closing in on 100. It'll be very, very exciting. I'm going to try to think up something really fun and special to do uh, for that five, that uh, 100th gathering for us. I think that should be pretty fun. All right, I'm just going to hang out for a minute here and see if I see anyone popping on, commenting before I get too far ahead. Um, all right, I'm going to just chat a little bit uh, about these catalogs you see here in front of me. This is new product coming in January. I can't show you the inside on camera yet, um, but hopefully these are starting to arrive in your mailboxes. And if you haven't had anything, uh, I would say give it another week or so. And if you don't have anything, then let me know and I will be happy to get that mailed out to you. But hopefully these are gonna start showing up in your mailboxes soon. Um, I always send one a set to myself along with the ones I send to you guys. And mine arrived um, a day or two ago. So hopefully um, as you go through the next couple of days, you'll start seeing these pop in. So Celebration will run January 5th through the end of February, and the mini catalog is going from January to April. Okay, so a couple of months shorter than usual, um, and, but there's some great stuff inside, and uh, we've already seen a little bit of a sneak peek on some of that product. I'm going to be using that tonight um, as we go through. Uh, one other announcement that I haven't had a chance to post yet, because they just told us about it not too long ago. Uh, December 15th, so three days from now, there's going to be a one day only free shipping offer on any order of $75 or more. If you guys have your own individual order of $75, go ahead and place that. And uh, if not, but there are some things that you want to get, uh, just send it to me and I will lump them together and send in one order together that we can get uh, $75 worth and uh, I'll take advantage of that free shipping. So like I said, I'll have some stuff posted on that on the Facebook page uh, but, uh, shortly. Um, not shortly, but <laughs> because we're saving still. So, um, later tonight, all the details will be there on how and when to order all that great stuff. Okay, so just a quick review in case you weren't here at the very beginning. New catalogs out in the mail. Hopefully you'll get them within the next week or so. And if you don't, shoot me a message and I will make sure to get those out to you because all that good, great product starts new um, on January 5th. Some really exciting stuff. Okay, so tonight I am going to go back to um, a bonus product here. That's out available now for just a limited time. Uh, the framed florets stamp set and its matching set of dies will be in that new mini catalog I just showed you, but you can go ahead and order them now if you like. And in addition, there's some bonus product, another stamp set that matches um, the frame shapes. All of those little phrases will fit into those different uh, frame shapes that they have for there. So a little bonus, and it's uh, kind of a Christmas theme. So this one's called Framed and Festive, so you got some Christmas messages. Um, I like it just for those themselves. The fonts are fun. They, they're large, bold, uh, take up. Um, they'll, they'll definitely get noticed on your project. All right, so uh, Framed Florets bundles and that bonus uh, stamp set. And then there's Designer Series paper that's only available while supplies last. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you tonight. Um, so the colors in here are Balby Blue, Soft Succulent, your evening evergreen, and then we get into um, polished pink. Uh, there's Blushing Bride. Um, this is again that uh, soft succulent and evergreen. More soft succulent. And then those blues. And then I already am running low on those two patterns right there. You can tell I must really love those particular papers <laughs> in general. Um, the dies actually match. Uh, one of the dies matches one of the uh, the pattern here, this one with the two flowers in it. So I've already used this to cut out a few that where I was putting on a swap and so here's the back sides of those okay so really fun colors really pretty pretty flowers um, that designer series paper and the framed and festive are only available while supplies last until January 3rd I believe it is hi Tina good to see you tonight uh, ordering information for that is at the top of my Facebook page so if you have any questions just holler let me know I'm gonna be using that stamp set uh, framed florets on my sample tonight, and I've used designer series paper from there on every single sample that you guys will see tonight. All right, let's get started. Okay, so for tonight, you needed a piece of cardstock that's five and a half by eight and a half, score it four and a quarter. I'm going to be using Blushing Bride. Designer series paper, cut four by four. 
Uh, cardstock number two is a two by two square. Mine is polished pink. Cardstock number three, one by four piece. Mine is balmy blue. And then a neutral circle, uh, two inches or so, something to fit a phrase and or um, images that you want to have as your focal point tonight. Okay, and you need your paper trimmer handy. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to start out first by stamping my circle. Again, I'm using flamed, flamed, <laughs> framed florets. I have trouble pronouncing this one every single time. The, the fur and the fool always get me tripped up for some reason. <laughs> Alrighty, so my piece is going to say for a special person on a special day. And I'm going to stamp that kind of down in a corner because I'm also going to add one of the flowers. So I'm using Balmy Blue and Blushing Bride. And of course, I'm taking these just directly out of that uh, designer series paper. Okay. And there's my flower in Blushing Bride. All right. So that is ready to go. Set him up here for now and I can get this off camera. All right. So grab that paper trimmer and grab your square of designer series paper. Now, if yours is directional, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to the top. The top edge is going to remain four inches of width. The bottom edge is gonna get cut off a little bit. So keep it right now positioned so that you have your, um, your top edge, uh, if you said if yours is directional, keep that top edge up there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this corner here and we're gonna take it out to our one inch mark. So our one inch mark is like right here. Okay, so that's gonna to touch the one inch mark. Then we're gonna make sure that the point up here is in the cutting groove. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna cut off a triangle and that'll leave a three inch uh, space here and of course four inches across the top. So remember if you're just directional, that's gonna make a difference, okay? So like I said, I put the, one, the bottom corner out to the one inch mark and I lined up the top corner in the track and then just sliced off that triangle. And then you can take that and make something else with it if you like. <laughs> uh, we won't need that for our project today. Okay, so grab your card base and let's go ahead and give that a nice fold. Alrighty, and we're gonna put down, oh, I, you know what, I did that backwards. Didn't I? I did. <laughs> okay, mine is a little bit different now. Hold on one second. I cut the triangle the wrong direction. Yep, 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 I did. Okay, I hope I have not messed you guys up. I'm gonna grab another piece here because what I wanted to do was take it the other direction and I had that laying the wrong way. So apologies guys, I did this like, what, I don't know, six times when I was making samples <laughs> and of course the one time I do it on camera for you guys, I got it wrong, okay. Opposite of what I said, your four inch length is going to stay at the bottom. <laughs> so you're going to take the top one out to the one inch and put the bottom track in there. There we go. That is what we're doing. Let me make sure that, that is what we're doing. Yes. That's what I did. Okay. Top out, bottom down, and then, so what you needed to do for your top edge, you're gonna consider it to be on the left side. I probably screwed all of you guys up tonight, and I'm so sorry about that. Oh my gosh, it has been a Monday, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, so if your paper is directional, your top edge is going to be off to your left side. Then you can do your triangle off like that because then we're gonna rotate it, and it's gonna go at the top of your paper. Okay. Holy cow, guys, it has been a Monday. <laughs> oh, I hope that you can laugh along with me when I do these sorts of things because sometimes it just feels like it needs to happen that way. Okay, set that aside for now. Take your two by two square. We're gonna do a little bit of trimming to make it into a banner. So you just do a small cut up from about the center. Then you're gonna take your, your cut from the corner over to meet that and do the same thing from the opposite corner, and you should have a pretty decent banner shape when you're done. You might have to just trim off a little, little bit like I just did there. 
okay? So that is one of the quickest and easiest ways to make a banner if you don't already have like a punch or a shape or something like that that makes that shape for you. Okay, and before we put it onto our paper, you're gonna place it underneath your designer series paper right about there. And since it already has the adhesive on the back, it'll stick down right now. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some more adhesive to the back of this part for placing it on my card. All right, there we go. So you've got your banner, you've got your designer series paper, all set to go. Now you're gonna take that strip of one by four and we're gonna add that across the middle of your DSP kind of and we'll add our focal point. It wants to stick to my fingers, wow, okay. So I would say about like halfway, on, use that shorter edge to kind of get yourself, give yourself an idea of where that might be. Go ahead and grab this and if you wanna just place it down like it is, that's fine. And if you wanna have a little dimension to it, uh, let's go ahead and do some popping up. So you could pop up any of these parts really if you want to. There's something really sticky on my fingers tonight. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna pop mine up just a little bit. And now that's gonna go here. Okay, so that is your basic layout for tonight. Um, I got this from a sketch challenge that was given out and I'll show you the thing I did for that in just a minute using uh, some, a little bit different concept of what it is. But that is the basic idea, okay? Alrighty, let's get into some other samples. You probably already saw this one sneak into camera just so that I could make sure <laughs> I was doing the paper the right direction. That uh, only occurred to me when I had, um, all these papers wouldn't have no direction to them. So I was trying to help you guys if you had one and then I totally messed myself up. Okay, so what I did differently on this one, I used another piece of designer series paper here instead of just a solid. I added my phrase on the tag and then just created an element using some of the die cut pieces. So I stamped and colored and die cut the three flowers. And then I, this part here comes from the dies that are in the framed florets and use that one like so. And then using that Christmas one, um, this paper reminded me a little bit of um, like winter berries. Is that the right word I'm looking for? Uh, winter berry look. And so I, um, I did the designer series paper using that and then I took out of there, I took the soft succulent and the evening evergreen. I dropped this down just a little bit, uh, gave it more of like an ornament look with the little bow at, at the top. And I used vellum uh, just for something a little bit soft and I added a few iridescent pearls. I don't know if they're gonna be sparkly on camera, uh, but these ones are really cute. They're very shiny, come in a couple of different sizes. I just think they're so pretty and it mimicked the little round winter berries I thought when I was going through those. Okay, then here's another piece using that same designer series paper. So we're using the flame for framed florets. See, I'm gonna call it something different every single time. Oh, yay. <laughs> um, so here again, um, this time I flipped it to the other side, as you can see, and I did the opposite cut. So just a little bit of something different. Instead of using paper, or DSP or anything around here, I use our silver mesh ribbon. Um, it's, it was in our Halloween product a while ago and it is in the annual catalog now and it's really fun to use, very easy to use and really soft. Like when you, like I said, when you spread it out like that, you can hardly see uh, that it's so fine. It's so pretty. And then I use some of the Sweet Sorbet metallic ribbon because that actually blends in really nicely with some of our other pinks as well. So this was the polished pink and I think that fits in really well with that color scheme. And I took the, the phrase and I did some little hand doodling around that circle right there. Okay, so I highlighted um, the idea of that being, so that then this was ribbon, this could be vellum, this could be more designer series paper, anything that you'd like there. You can use different shapes, uh, you know, not just have, it doesn't have to stay a circle. Circles can change sizes. I had to go up a little bit on some of these in order to get my phrase to fit. So those are a little bit bigger than the two inches. Uh, but just so go with that basic concept if you want to keep continuing to use this layout. And then I'll show you my stepped up version. All I did was back everything with black just to give it a little more presence. And then I also took an embossing folder to the blue layer. So this is the Pretty Petals design, um, embossing folder. And that just gave that a little bit more life, a little bit of more oomph. And I added some of our, uh, our glossy dots. And technically these are pool party. But because they're so prismy, you can see like there's there's a lot there's different hues and colors that can come out of these. So even though this is technically a pool party one, it did actually blend in nicely with my 
balmy blue. Okay. So again, all I did was I added a border of black and then a lot of, of dimensionaling because of those, those thicker layers. So this has popped up and this has popped up just to give it a little bit more height and dimension. All right, guys, here are all the rest of those again. So remember the stamp set called Framed and Festive? This is the one that's only available for the limited time. I use that right here for the Merry Christmas. And then if you're interested in the bundle, the framed florets, uh, that with the dies, you can order that now, or it will be in that new mini catalog that's coming. And if you want the designer series paper, make sure you go ahead and grab that before that disappears. And that, uh, like I said, while supplies last through January 3rd, I believe is, how, is when that runs. All right, everybody. Sorry for the hiccup tonight. <laughs> um, I hope I didn't mess up anybody's cart by uh, cutting it, cut, doing the wrong cut there. Uh, but hopefully you got the idea. And uh, I can't wait to see what you make with this. So please, 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 when uh, the post is up uh, with the video and everything, show me what you made. Go ahead and take a snapshot and uh, upload it and send it on over so we can all see all the pretty things that everybody is making. All right. So thanks for joining me tonight, guys. Claire, Kathy, Tina, I think I saw you guys all pop in and out there. Um, thank you so much. And I will see you guys next week, Monday. Have a good one. Take care.